What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. So a couple of weeks ago I made a video showing you how to install the Google mobile services on basically any Huawei device that runs Android 10 and everything still works um, fine and a lot a lot of people are actually able to install the Google mobile services on their Huawei devices and I was super happy to see that. But something happened a couple of um, days ago and people weren't able to sign into their um, Google account through that installation process. Now, that installation process still works, but now you have to do two steps before you start that installation process. So I'm going to leave a link to that um, video in the video's description and uh, the top right corner. So that video still works, but now you have to do two additional steps before you start that video. Alright, so the first thing I want you to do is remove the SIM card from your phone. So take out the SIM card and you're going to be able to put the SIM card back in um, when you're done with the installation process. The next thing I recommend is to do a factory reset. Now, when you do a factory reset, you're going to lose everything that you have on your phone. But I did see a lot of comments from people saying that they were able to install everything without a factory reset. So this step is kind of optional. To do a factory reset, you basically go to settings, you scroll all the way down to system and updates. You go to reset, reset phone, and um, you basically reset everything that you have on your phone. But once again, you're going to lose everything that you have on your um, device. When the phone starts back, um, back on, um, basically skip all the steps and just connect to Wi-Fi. All right, so let's say that you've done all that. And as I said, that um, step was kind of optional. Next, you're going to go to settings once again. You're going to go to system and updates. You're going to go to date and time. And here you're going to turn off set automatically. So turn that off. And then you're going to change the time, the date, basically to two years prior. So put it to 2018, press OK and go back. And now you can start the installation process from the other video. So everything will work uh, OK now. And now you should be able to sign into your Google account through the old installation process. So the video that I'm, um, I'm going to leave in the video's description. That's simple. When you're done installing everything, you can put a SIM card back in, um, in your phone and you can change the time um, as it was um, previously. So that's simple and this should fix uh, that installation process that a lot of people are able to do a couple of weeks back. Alright guys, hopefully this video was useful. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.